All right, about 625. Here is your weather story. Merry Christmas Eve to you. Christmas Eve is running about 15 to 25 degrees above average. We're already almost 10 degrees above the average high. The average high is 34 degrees today. No white Christmas this year. Thanks to that. But the coldest air of the season, well, it's unfortunately arriving a week too late if you wanted a white Christmas because we're going to be down in the teens and 20s next week. Dense fog advisories, the story this morning, up and down the I-35 corridor, central and southwestern Iowa is in that dense fog advisory. Closer look at central Iowa, three-quarter mile visibility up in Ames, Iowa Falls, and Fort Dodge. We're up to a mile in Des Moines, so conditions are improving a little bit here in Polk County, still in Creston, reporting zero mile of visibility, but better in Ottumwa and Centerville this morning. Here's your Christmas Eve forecast. We'll work our way up into the 50s today. That's a 21 degree above average high temperature, high of 55 degrees. You see the winds, they're going to flip from the southwest to the northwest. That cools us down tomorrow thanks to a weak cold front. The sunshine will arrive probably in the early to mid morning hours between about you know 9 and 11 a.m with the winds out of the north between about 5 and 15 miles per hour. Here's your chance of precipitation over the next three days. I think the best chance is probably tonight into early tomorrow morning, especially uh, north of the city and probably east of the metro as well. We'll show you that in a second and also Sunday a 20% chance. We'll show you all that right now with future cast mid 50s this afternoon. Places in southern Iowa will get to 60 maybe low 60s. There's that quick shot of rain overnight tonight. Nothing too crazy. The models wanted to bring in some snow to northern Iowa or along and north of the US 20 corridor. That has since backed off in the model guidance. 40s tomorrow, so cooler but still above average. And then here's the system on Sunday. Clouds will build uh, Saturday night into Sunday, and here comes that system. The rain is probably going to stay south of US 20. Chances snow north of US 20 into southern Minnesota. That's where, mo that's where most of the snow is going to fall north of us. We'll be mostly sunny for Monday. Then our attention turns to Tuesday. Both of the models are kind of disagreeing with the setup, the track of the area of low pressure, and also the strength of the area of the low pressure. But I would say precipitation at this point is probably likely on Tuesday. It's a matter of if it's a winter storm or we're going to stay warm enough to just see rain across central Iowa. Here's your whole plumbing heating 10 day forecast. Uh, cooling trend is coming next week. Unfortunately, uh, we're going to there it is. It's loading finally 40% chance of rain on Tuesday. Cooling trend going into New Year's Eve. We're tracking your travel concerns this morning, of course, on Christmas Eve. Here's a current look at the Des Moines International Airport departures. We've seen a couple flights already go out to Phoenix, Miami, Atlanta, and Washington. Those are all in the air, uh, but basically running on time. The one to Houston is departing. Look at that. The St. Petersburg flight on Allegiance already in the air, heading down to western uh, Florida. No big delays, though, and that's good news with all the fog we're seeing out there this morning. We'll keep an eye on it, though. More Good Morning Iowa coming up on the other side.